Mikey, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create animated cinematics for your Roblox edits. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have the Roblox Studio Launcher, and from there you want to double click this and open up Roblox Studio. I'm assuming you already know how to make cinematics in Roblox, so this tutorial is just going to go over how to add a bit of spice with animation to them. The first thing you want to do is make sure you have this model, Animated NPC. I will have it linked in the description so you can purchase it for free, and then you can use it. Once you have it dragged in, all you have to do is select the group that says ungroup me and choose these two nameless groups. From there, drag them both into workspace. Now you can delete this ungroup me. You can also delete one model if you would like. So now you should have this character. Now this character already has a module in it that will allow you to animate it. All you have to do is change the animation ID. But if you don't know how to do that, here's what you gotta do. I'm actually going to be giving you a death animation that you can use for your edits. I've used it in a few of my edits, it's a very good one. So you can actually use this, I will have it linked in the description. In order to put this in, all you need to do is copy this ID. Now you should open up Roblox Studio and select this item named Cheeto. From there, go into the property that says animation ID and just paste in the ID. It will automatically fill in a Roblox a set ID tag and that will do that for you. Now you'll notice that when you spawn on, the animations should begin to play soon. As you can see, it plays the animation, and it will do it repeatedly based on the time frame you have set. Since this animation is working in play mode, all you have to do is play and run your cinematic, and it will combine with this to create the desired cinematic. Now that you have this animation, the next thing you should do is make it look like what you want it to look like. In this, I'm going to make it look like a Phantom Forces soldier. I actually have one loaded up right here. To do this, I'm just going to take these pants and shirts, and I'm going to copy them. Then I'm going to put them inside of the group by pressing Control shift v As you can see, it changes the shirt. But now we need to change the head color. All you have to do here is take the head and figure out the color. It's pastel brown. So what I'm going to do is go back to head, and I'm going to look for the color pastel brown. I hope this tutorial helped you. If you want more tutorials like this in the future, be sure to subscribe and leave a like. If you guys want a full cinematic tutorial, I can create that too. I have loads of editing tutorials coming out and tons of Destiny 2 content to release to you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.